10-second knockout. I believe that's tied for the fourth fastest in Bellator history. 656 days away from Michael Dubois. See why he was a little anxious to get started. That welterweight oh, big shot big by Lewis Long. This is starting off bad for Michael Dubois. There I goes Lewis Long right to the back. This is big early trouble. Big early trouble. Lewis Long straightens him out. He's palm to palm on that. That is tight. He's going to switch it. Full lock. He's going to go out. He's out. He's out. We're done. This is almost the whole fight right here. Here's the shot. Look at that right hand. It stuns him, then the left touches him too. And when he got him to the ground, he went palm to palm. He was almost out and then went all the way to a full lock. And you can see it actually tore his glove. He did. His glove got split. Oh, yeah. They do have four kids. This baby. Uh, so, sort of a, a peek behind the curtain here a little bit when we're dealing with an amateur fight right away. Good, strong jab. Maria Anderson down. This is exactly where Maria Anderson wants to be. She's got very good jiu-jitsu. She's a brown belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Very good top game. And right away, take a look at the control. She just needs to settle down here. Don't worry about getting the finish right away. Work for the finish. Nice job of flattening her out. She's got her flattened out. She's got her far from the fence. Punching while you're getting choked is yeah, not it. It's over. You saw the desperation shots. You see shots like that, you know the end is coming. Take a look at what happens here. Beautiful job of getting the body lock. She gets herself inside, goes back to that body lock, trips the leg into a beautiful side control position. Then she gets that back, gets the hook, sinks in that choke. All those punches are for naught. They're not going to do anything. You see the tap. Fantastic finish by the mouse, Maria Henderson. According to the odds, this is a David versus Goliath matchup. With David being the undefeated Christian Edwards, but Ben Parrish, his slingshot is loaded with submissions. Ball, four wins, buddy, all ready? four Fight. via sub and the bell. Round one, Edwards in the red gloves, Parrish in the blue. Front kick to the midsection, oblique kick, and a one-two by Edwards, off to a fast start. Nice use of the oblique kick to get Ben Parrish off balance, but you saw Ben just sh shrug it off, come after Christian, just throw the exchange. Saying when we're talking about Ben Parrish. Watch this left hand. Boom! It lands clean. Ben Parrish sees the opportunity, lands hammer fist. That's why you never count someone out. You look and say, it can the guy fight? We looked and said, yeah, he can fight. He's tough. He's got a great ground game, but you see the power. Ready to fight? Let's go. Josh Thompson's been saying it all night. There are wins and there are performances. Liz especially needs both. Boy, Liz Thompson yeah, did. Coming out really strong, coming forward. A lot of pressure. Nice, wrong right hand. Now an overhand right. Wants it out, be back pedaling. She's in big trouble. Liz Carmouche piling it on. Kevin McDonald taking a close look. Lighting Lighting shots are getting in there and it's over. It's over. The MMA world wanted Liz Carmouche to make a statement and did she ever. You see her starting to go back. She's not, that right hand was the one. That's the one that really started to seal the deal. Liz kept on going after it, crushed her space a little bit, but she just started lighting her up. Good stoppage by Kevin McDonald.
Kevin McDonald is the referee for this flyweight matchup. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds, the undefeated Diana Afsaragova in the red gloves, the one and two Tara Graf in the blue gloves, and an aggressive start. Graf coming right at Afsaragova. Afsaragova, a master of sports in freestyle wrestling, but she's on the receiving end of a striking barrage from the Tiny Terror, John. Tiny Terror is going after her. She needs to be very careful. She's starting to overextend a little bit. It's nice. Oh, oh and she got like dropped. That's it. That's it. Wow, the oh. master of sports and freestyle wrestling with a master display and striking, mamma mia! Shit. She comes in, right hand, right on the button. That stuns her. She tries to collect herself. Asara Gova, boom, right back with that right hand again. She is out going down. Real speed, gets up, right back to it. Davion Franklin, three and oh, with two knockouts. Everett Cummings, 15 and 0 right, with one no contest, ready, six sir? knockouts, go, nine fight. submission wins. The bell, round one, Franklin in the red gloves, Cummings in the blue, and Cummings immediately attacks the lead leg of Franklin. Current heavyweight champion Ryan Bader involved in the light heavyweight Grand Prix, and that kick already hurt Cummings, and all day Damian Franklin wipes the floor. Watch the oblique kick. It's the ground. That shot right there with the right hand. That's the one that did it. Red, you good? Blue, you good? Round one. Come on. And immediately, Sorchum chops him down with a leg kick. I was going to say that Sorchum's going to try to actually keep this on the feet because he's much faster. Oh, he's in trouble. Big, big trouble, and we're done. And one of the fastest knockouts in Bellator history. Since it starts here, watch the kick. That takes Charlie Miller off his feet. All of a sudden, he's into him, and he didn't just sit there. He went after him. Big shot right there. You can see that hurt. You saw the movement of the legs, and then opens up, and he puts him out. You ready? What? What? Nice one. Oh, my goodness. In the opening seconds, Isaiah Hokins' pro debut is over. No! Ten second knockout. I believe that's tied for the fourth fastest in Bellator history. And then he comes back and does it one more time. There's that left hand that does all the damage. And then comes down with the hammer fist. Hokic was still there at this point. He got stunned that one and he goes out. That left hand hits perfect. You can see how he is just frozen going down. Kind of wakes up a little bit when he hits the ground. Corey Sanders puts him back out.